Hello, hello, Tom McGuire. Apologies, I've not been doing any reviews for a few weeks. But life has been getting in the way a little bit and I've kind of hit 2024 fairly full on really in terms of my reading. I've kind of changed things up a little bit. I decided at the end of 2023 that I wanted to read much more classic, high quality literature from now on. Um, I'm still going to be doing personal development books from time to time. I still get benefit from that. I'll still be listening to those and reviewing those as well as reading some of them as well. But I've really kind of changed my goal in terms of wanting to get through. I suppose I've been looking at kind of like top 100 lists of kind of classic novels, not just in the not just British, but throughout the world. And it kind of developed my taste a little bit. So a little while ago, I read a book called Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy, which I've done a review of. Now, that is an absolutely fantastic book. And I know from doing a review of that and doing a little bit of research around that book since, that Cormac McCarthy was very inspired by Herman Melville, who did Moby Dick, which I've recently read, which is fantastic. I'll be reviewing that at some point. He was also very influenced by Shakespeare, and there's some real kind of Shakespearean writing in that that just makes it absolutely fantastic and dreamlike. And so I've kind of gone from... I was also last year reading a lot of Westerns as well, I kind of got into American history a little bit. I was thinking about, you know, um, Donald Trump and recent history and then going back and looking at older presidents and things. And that got me into the Wild West. And I've been reading some, some Westerns, which is why I'm going to be reviewing today this one, Shane by Jack Schaefer. This is such a good Western. It's a really short one. It's only, what is it, hundred and about 160 pages, is it? Yeah, 160 pretty much exactly. It's not particularly complicated, it's not heavy, it doesn't require loads of kind of concentration or rereading necessarily, although I will be rereading it at some point because it's just so good. It's just a real page turner, it's easy to get through, so if you want a book that's just kind of fun and interesting and nostalgic, then I highly recommend this one for sure. If you want to, if you, you know, a lot of people are kind of put off by the idea of westerns because they just seem a bit old-fashioned and outdated, but actually they've got a lot to offer. I've also recently read True Grit by Charles Portis. That's really, really good as well. All the Pretty Horses is another Cormac McCarthy one that I've read. Also, Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee by D. Brown. That's really, really good as well. All these fantastic books that I've, I've read. I just haven't had time to be doing reviews, but I will, I will start doing some more reviews again now. But it was just to let you know, really, that a lot of the stuff I'm going to be reviewing now is going to be a bit more classic literature stuff. I read Middlemarch recently, which is completely kind of out of character for me, but I absolutely loved that. I think that was fantastic. Like I said, Moby Dick as well, which is something I've been wanting to read for years. Loved that. Can't recommend that highly enough. I'm now on Charles Dickens' Great Expectations. I've done War of the Worlds as well. I think I've got through about 12 books so far in 2024, so I'm really, really loving it. So just to really give you a bit of an update... But this one, highly recommend it, Shane by Jack Schaefer. Um, if you've seen the film, or if you haven't seen the film, I recommend you watch that. It's a film that my dad always used to bang on about as when we were kids growing up, and we used to sort of laugh and think, come on, this old-fashioned sort of Western, it's a bit cheesy, it's a bit ridiculous. But I watched it again recently, and it's really, really a very good film. And that's the other one I've read as well, The Searchers by Alan LeMay. That's another really good film as well. So The Searchers and Shane, both both really good film adaptations of the books. Uh, yeah, so Shane the film, fantastic. Give it a watch, then give this a read. Highly recommend it. And I know it's not personal development, which is what this channel is normally about. But you can, as I've said before, you can take lessons from these books. They, you know, particularly Westerns will give you an idea of where we've come from to some degree. You know, the harshness of, of what happened when, when we colonised America. The things that happened that you know, we did to, to the indigenous people. Also, <clears throat> it is interesting, kind of, the, you know, when you read a book or listen to a book, you want a certain amount of enjoyment. So there is a certain amount of romance as well around that. But as I say with any book, you approach it with an open mind. You don't just take everything you read or listen to as it is. You do some extra research. You think about things. You use your imagination a little bit. You think about the good and the bad. Um, but I have to say, if you haven't read any Westerns and you want to give them a go, this is a really good one to start with. So thank you very much. I will be getting back to my reading uh, and my working and I will have another review for you very soon. Thanks very much. Speak soon. Cheers. Bye.